One of my favorite things that DT does is his annual YouTuber shout out video that he does. And this is where he talks about some of his favorite Linux YouTubers that he's found over the last year. And I think it's such a nice idea because it kind of spreads the love around. And admittedly, I'm a little bit biased because I was featured on one of those videos. So I really, you know, kind of like that even more because of that. But I think it's just a nice idea to kind of share the love around when it comes to those of us making videos about Linux. Now, I did do this last year, so this is my second year doing it, and I figure why not go ahead and make a 2023 version of that video. So today I'm going to be talking about my 10 favorite Linux YouTubers at the moment. Now, obviously, this is not all-inclusive. There are many more that I watch. I just kind of narrowed it down to 10. Honestly, I could have done 15 or 20, but the video would have been way too long. So uh, I just narrowed it down to 10, and I did pair out the big guys. So like Chris Titus Tech and DT and Brody, those guys are all big enough that they don't really need to be featured on a, on a list like this. So let's go ahead and take a look at my 10 favorite Linux YouTubers right now. So the first one on the list is Jake at Linux. Now, if you like window managers and bash scripting and things like that, you won't find a better Linux YouTuber out there. Honestly, he does a ton of stuff that is just kind of amazing. Like he uses scratch pads in ways that I've never seen anyone use scratch pads before. He likes to talk about all of the menu systems that he's created through like Rofi and things like that. I think he uses his FCF now, uh, but he does all of this really cool scripting and window manager stuff. And he's doing an Emacs challenge. So you know, there's just a ton of stuff on this channel that if you are a uber nerd, you probably will want to check him out. Now, he's also done a ton of stuff with many different window managers. He's not he's not committed to one window manager, although he does have a favorite. He talks about many of them, and he doesn't talk about mainstream ones all that much either. So things like Herp's Love WM you'll see on his channel, Qtile, Xmonad, a lot of that stuff. And if you like those kind of window managers, again, this is a very good channel to subscribe to. The second channel that I want to shout out to is the Linux tube. Linux tube does a lot of stuff when it comes to distro reviews. Now I'm on the fence about distro reviews, so I'm, you know, not a bit the biggest fan of distro reviews, but one of the things that I like about this channel is that he finds some really obscure distros that you may have never heard of before. And those are my t favorite types of distro reviews. If distro reviews have to exist, I want to see distro reviews of distros that I've never heard of before are very rare. I don't care about the most recent Ubuntu. Everybody's going to make a video about that. But things like Ultramarine Linux, like Hello System OS and stuff like that, very obscure distros and I like those kind of videos. So definitely give the Linux tube a subscribe. Very good content. The next one I'm going to butcher their name. So I apologize for that. I'm going to try it anyways. Tr Trafoten, Trafoten. I, I apologize for not being able to pronounce that name. I, yeah, you know, I just couldn't do it. Anyways, if you like Linux and you like security and things like that, they make fantastic videos on all that content. You'll see things like they most recently made one on KDE, but they've also thing talked about things like the anti JavaScript movement, a lot of anti big tech stuff, things like Tor. And a whole bunch of stuff like that. And they also make some more esoteric videos like uh, stuff on Inkscape and stuff like that. So they also made one video about creating YouTube thumbnails, which I found very interesting. Interesting, And I almost followed that tutorial, but decided just to stick with the thumbnails that I use right now. But anyways, if you like a whole bunch of Linuxy type content, security and stuff like that, this is a very good channel to subscribe to. The next one on the list is Bud Labs. Now, Bud Labs does not make a lot of content. So if you're looking for someone who publishes every day or even every week, that's not going to be Bud Labs. But if you like i3, he has some of the best i3 content on YouTube. And that's, I mean, that may even be underplaying it just a little bit simply because some of his videos about i3 are just absolutely spectacular. He has a series on i3 with System D. That was the most informative system D video series that I've ever watched in my life. It's fantastic. And like I said, if you want to learn how to start services with system D, even things that aren't specifically services already, if you want to learn how to do startup with system D, those videos were fantastic. He also does a whole bunch of other stuff with i3. So if you like i3 window manager, this is definitely a channel to check out. The next one is 
one of the YouTubers that I've been following for a long time, and that's Linux Dabbler. He, he might, might have also been on the last list that I made. I honestly can't remember, but it doesn't matter because he definitely deserves a shout-out. Now, again, like Bud Labs, he doesn't make a lot of content. He has a little baby, so he doesn't focus on YouTube. But when he does make a video, you can count on that thing to be gold. So if you like Debian, if you like ButterFS, if you like obscure window managers like Specter WM, give the Linux Dabbler a try because his videos are all fantastic and they're full of actual like how-to information so if you are looking for real, really good tutorials on how to do some of the stuff like use butterfs on debian or install debian in you know interesting ways or use and configure dwm or specter wm or whatever you can get a lot of information from linux dabbler so definitely head on over and give him a subscribe now the next one on the list is Arnie's Tech, and this is another one of those channels that doesn't publish all that often, but when they do, they make a very, very good video. They talk about things like upgrading to new versions of Fedora, using the Arch install script, installing OpenSUSE, so there's a lot of tutorials and stuff on here, and it's all Linux content, all very well produced and put together, so definitely check out this channel if you're into Linux content. It's really really good now the next four on the list are bigger so there I, I was trying to get everybody under 5,000 subscribers to be on this list but there's a few that I just kind of want to shout out simply because they're just really good even though they do overshoot that threshold so the first one is Nico loves Linux if you like KDE I highly suggest heading on over to his channel and giving it a subscribe because he's a KDE developer so Anything he talks about, you can pretty much take as pure gold because he talks about all the updates that KD does and all the features that they add and a whole bunch of other stuff. And what I like most about his channel is that he's not so attached to KDE that he can't open his mind up to other desktop environments. So he spent a month with GNOME. He's made several videos on GNOME. So I really like that about him. It's just seriously good content from someone who has the ability to keep an open mind about their competitor, basically a competitor's product. So that is Nico Loves Linux. Definitely give them a try. The next one is Bugs Writer, and you might have seen Bugs Writer's challenge before. That's like a rising channel challenge, I think. It's kind of spread throughout, you know, the smaller, darker corners of YouTube, like a couple years ago, I guess now. But Bugs Writer makes some meme content that I don't really care for, but the rest of the stuff that he talks about scripting and making different types of small programs that enable you to do interesting things like bring in a YouTube feed via RSS or rename a whole bunch of files in your media folder or whatever. A lot of these really small programs that he shows you that he's made are really, really good. I do wish that he took a little bit more time in showing you how he does some of the stuff that he does, but you do get a good idea of what he's done with some of these scripts. And I've used several of them, including one for Newsboat, which allows me to use YouTube feeds and then open them in MPV, which is really nice. So uh, Bugs Writer is definitely another another one to check out. Uh, now this one here is Mark N. Now he doesn't make a lot of videos at all. He does stream from time to time. So really what if you subscribe to him, you'd be subscribing for the streams. Basically what you'll see is that when he streams, he streams about Asahi Linux. And I'm saying that right. That's the Linux that is being developed for M1 Max. Now that's not going to be for everyone, but if you're at all into development or even just watching developers work, his workflow is astonishingly good. <laughs> it's so cool. Like this man uses tabs like a beast. I, I like I don't I it's fantastic. I like I worship the amount of tabs that this guy uses. And I'm not a developer. I don't ha I can't understand any of the things that he does in his videos. They're all way beyond me. But I, I like just watching. It's like ASMR almost. Like he just sits there and he, he fixes stuff live on stream and it's just really, really good content. So if you even if you're not a developer, definitely check that out because those live streams are fantastic. Alright, so the last one is TJ DeVries. I'm not, again, sorry if I mispronounce your name. He is a NeoVim developer, as far as I'm aware, and he does a lot of content on NeoVim. In fact, all of his content, as far as I'm aware, is on Vim and NeoVim. And if you're into NeoVim, or if you're into Vim at all, you should definitely give him a try because a lot of his stuff is fantastic. One of the videos that I really, really liked was this one here, Effective NeoVim Instant IDE. 
I actually installed that script that he wrote. It's called kickstart.vim. And basically what it does is it takes you into a complete configuration of NeoVim using Lua. Now I've been resisting moving my NeoVim stuff to Lua. So that was really, really helpful. But it's not that he wrote a script to do it for you that was so impressive. It's that he went through and spent a good 15, 20 minutes or whatever it was to show you exactly what you were getting as you installed the script so that you knew exactly what your configuration file looked like and did after you were done. And honestly, I learned more about Lua and NeoVim with Lua in that video than I ever had before. That's one of the reasons why I'd been not doing that. So that video was really helpful for me. And like I said, if you are into NeoVim, definitely give this a try. So those are my favorite Linux YouTubers as of right now. Now, like I said, I did not include some of the big guys. So if you haven't subscribed to DistroTube or Brody or Chris Titus Tech, obviously go ahead and give those a subscribe because they all make really good content. Uh, I'll also take a small moment to shout out some of the my more personal channels that I support. So check out uh, Dark Zero, who does uh, Zero Linux. Uh, Steve, he's on the podcast. Check out Zany at Z uh, youtube.com slash ZanyOG. And check out Josh. He's on uh, YouTube.com slash TenleyJ, I think is his YouTube channel. Although I'm not sure if he's actually still YouTubing. So I'm, I apologize if that channel no longer exists. So that is it for this video. If you have YouTube channels that you'd like to share, give those a shout out in the comment section below. But don't post the links. Uh, YouTube will just delete the links and you, nobody will ever see your content. So just post the name of the, the channel if you have someone to share. Give them a shout out in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. You can follow me on Mastodon or Odyssey. Those links will be in the video description. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast. Links for LiberaPay and YouTube will be in the video description. Thanks to everybody who does support me on Patreon and YouTube. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Without you, the challenge will not be anywhere near where it is right now. So thank you very, very much for your support. I truly do appreciate it. You guys are all awesome. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.